In this video, I'll show you how to use the popular Avada theme combined with Elementor Page Builder to design a stunning website faster and easier. We will recreate this minimalistic and clean page made by Phoenix Startup UI Kit, which I highly recommend. It includes everything you might need. The above the fold hero section, two features sections, services section, call to action subscription form section, price table, and testimonial. We'll create it from scratch, step by step, using Avada and Elementor. So keep watching, I promise it will be worth your while. So first I want to take care of my hero header. And I'll place all the elements of the page, my heading widget, and the video widget, and finally the columns widget. Now the columns will help me create a more intricate structure for the section and underneath the video create four columns for my services. Now we'll paste in the text for each of the element. Change the video as well. And start customizing the style of the first heading. Change the size, the color. Change the font family weight, line height, and transform it to capitalize. I'll also add a top margin, and change the HTML tag to H3. For the subheading, I'll do the same. Change the text color to gray, and the rest of the typography, change it as well. For the video, I'll add a margin on all sides, and this will actually help reduce the size of the video. I'll also Add a background color for the whole section and add an image overlay so I don't have the default image of YouTube. So I don't need the play icon and I can add a light box. So when I click on the video, the light box opens up. I can change the background of the video when the light box opens and I can also change the width of the video. Now I can continue to my services and for the first service I'll change the typography and color same as I did for the top heading. Now we'll change the column gap to wider and then duplicate the whole column to have four services. I'll paste in the different text and then I have my services area. Now I'll change the HTML tags and this is important for SEO purposes and for the proper content hierarchy. So set the heading as H3 and the paragraph as P. Our next section is a feature section. So I'll just duplicate the headings to get all the style in and start creating this section, now it's a bit intricate, it will include a, an image box. So again, I'm using two columns uh, inside of the section, pasting in the image box and a button.
And for the button itself, I'll add a top margin, change the alignment and the text of the call to action text. And I'll also style it as a link. And to do that, I'm going to change its size, font family, transform it to uppercase, add some letter spacing, and change the text color so the color is green on a background of transparent. I'll add a solid border on the bottom to make the underline. And on hover, I will change it the color to black, giving the link effect. So I'll also set the section background image, and this would be the computer right here, aligned to the top left and set as a size of cover. Next, we have another feature section. This time it's two columns. And I'm going to align the column content position to middle so the image and the text will appear at the center of the column. Again, I'm duplicating the heading to get all the styling already inside. Now it looks pretty simple right now, but I'm going to add here a button and give it a really nice effect, both with the background uh, shape divider and using uh, a 3D effect on the button itself. So now we'll go to the section style and I'll add a color to the section change the text of the button and let's start customizing the button add an icon at the beginning of the button with some spacing between the icon and the text I'll go to style and change the, the size and weight of the text. Also add minus letter spacing so it's scrunched up together. I don't need a border. I will add a border radius and a box shadow. This will give us the 3D effect I was talking about. So I'm playing around with the background, uh, the box shadow settings to make it a bit subtle. Also add text padding to create, to make the, the button wider. So you see I'm using different top and bottom spacing. Give the background color a white uh, background and on hover the other way around. This way we get this negative effect on hover and also set it with an animation of grow. And you see already the button pops out. Now I'm adding a shape divider to make this section even more beautiful. So I'm using the tilt shape divider with a gradient color. And this will create a smooth transition between the two areas of the section. And already this section is starting to look really nice. Our next section is our services section. So here again, I'm duplicating the headings. Inside, underneath I put another columns widget. You can see that we use a lot, there are a lot of situation where we will use this inner section columns widget to create an intricate design. Inside I placed the icon, the image box and create my first service. And I need to change the image size and the typography 
and then I will duplicate it for the rest of the services. Next is our call to action section. Now this is a really important place in our uh, page. So again, I'm duplicating the headings. And I'll add a contact form a subscribe form underneath this and I want to make this form one line so I'll start by changing the margin remove the name and, and message fields and only keep the email field so I need to set the first field to be 75 percent and the button submit button Let's change the text and change the column width to 25. This, as you can see, sets it as one line. So I'll change the columns gap and rows gap and customize the topography of the field first. Change the background of the field. and add a border radius to make it round. So let's make it medium size and the button also medium. And also add border radius to the submit button and change its size so it perfectly aligns with the field. Now I'm limiting the width to make the whole section boxed. Add a background image and set it top center and cover. So for the buffer button, I also want another grow animation on hover. Next, we have our price table section. So we'll duplicate the headings again. And add another columns widget. Each, inside each of the columns, I'll add my price table. And now it's just a matter of customizing the text and the styling of each of the price tables that I will create.
Now that I finished with my price table, I can duplicate the whole section and create my next section, which is my testimonial. So I'll get rid of all the price, all the price tables, drag in a heading, and this will just be for the quote mark. Underneath that, I'll place the testimonial and start customizing it and then finally duplicating it to create three of these testimonials. I'm glad you made it this far. If you have any questions about using Elementor with Avada, feel free to post your comment. I invite you to download Elementor for free and start enjoying a whole new WordPress design experience.